Let's look at three molecules and see if we can determine if they have a permanent dipole moment. Three molecules, carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, and acetone, which has no permanent dipole moment. It's interesting to note that no permanent dipole moment means a molecule will be transparent to microwaves. It turns out the permanent dipole moment is what allows molecules to absorb microwaves. It's what allows microwave spectroscopy to work and even your microwave oven. So while you're thinking about which of these has no permanent dipole moment, you can think about which of these would be transparent to microwaves at the same time. Think about that for a minute and make your selection. Let's look at possible explanations for each of the answers. Answer A, carbon monoxide has only two atoms, so it will not have a dipole moment. B, carbon dioxide is symmetric, so it will not have a permanent dipole moment. Or three, CH2O is nearly symmetric, symmetric enough that it has no dipole moment. Think about each of those and make another selection. We're looking at three molecules and trying to determine their electric dipole moments. Our three molecules are carbon monoxide, carbon dioxide, and acetone. So these three molecules, let's look at them in turn and see if we can determine their electric dipole moments. Carbon monoxide, there's a diatomic molecule, two atoms, unequal electronegativities between oxygen and carbon. So there'll be an electric dipole moment in carbon monoxide. Carbon dioxide, now here we have two bonds to consider. Remember we need to consider each bond in the molecule. Each bond will be polar. Each will have a tiny dipole moment that will add to give the total dipole moment for the molecule. In the case of carbon dioxide, the dipole moments are equal and opposite. So they'll identically cancel out. How about acetone? Again, each bond will have a dipole moment. The dipole moment for the carbon-oxygen bond and the dipole moments for the carbon-hydrogen bonds. Now those are not equal and opposite. In fact, they'll point in different directions and have different magnitudes and they will not cancel out. So we have acetone, a dipole moment, carbon monoxide, a dipole moment, carbon dioxide, no dipole moment due to its symmetry. So the answer here, carbon dioxide has no permanent dipole moment. Now, those of you that are looking at this very closely might say, wait a minute, isn't oxygen more electronegative than carbon? Shouldn't this electric dipole moment point the other way? Shouldn't there be a higher probability of finding electrons around the more electronegative element, oxygen, in this diatomic molecule? Well, your initial impression would be correct. Your feeling from electronegativities is that this dipole moment should point in the other direction. And in fact, it does point from the oxygen to the carbon, and this is the only example that I know of in the carbon, carbon monoxide molecule where the dipole moment, because of the chemical electronic structure of the molecule, points opposite to the direction that electronegativities would predict. In general, your predictions from electronegativities will always give you the right impression about the direction and magnitude of dipole moments.